Hi, I'm Jack from Golden Pineapple. I'm Ness from The Fix. We're gonna make two drinks here that are very, very similar, but also completely different. Right, I've been making a boulevardier, and um, Jack's been making a granny. Yeah. So uh, the first ingredient we're gonna start with is sweet vermouth. Uh, this could be the kind of backbone of these drinks. We can also swap for dry vermouth, if you want something a little bit more uh, lighter, um, but yeah. Second ingredient. Second ingredient is a bitter component. You can use just Campari if you like, or any other bitter Amaro. So we've got a Amaro mix here. Jack, here you go. So this is a few of my favorite Amaros. I'm not gonna say which ones they are. This is gonna give a really nice body to the drink, and alongside the other ingredients will really round out the actual flavor and uh, make it a delicious drink in total. So I'm going to pop gin in here. So we haven't mentioned, at this point, all of the ingredients are equal measures. So we've done 25 mils in each one. Um, so gin will give you a nice, like, bright juniper, sort of waxy, fun light finish. And I'm using whiskey. So this is a rye whiskey. Uh, it's going to give a really nice kind of dark, earthy tone to the drink. And also gives that sort of element, a lot like an old-fashioned from Manhattan, really gives you a nice kind of warming drink. So these are both stirred down drinks. I'm gonna start stirring them now. So you want to stir for about 20 seconds, trying to keep it even tempo. And um, yeah, get it nice and chilled. We're adding some water. The reason for stirring and not shaking is you don't want to get too much oxygen in it. Um, so yeah, nice and controlled dilution. At this point, there's a taste. Let's see if it's the right level. And then both are served on the rocks. Feel free to serve on, in a coop or wherever you might like. Whilst at home. Yeah. So we're gonna express some oils from the skin of an orange. So to get that off, you can use a peeler. Use a white potato peeler along the orange, but be very, very careful with this. I lost the skin of a couple of fingers a few times from trying to do this too quickly. But yeah, you just slowly peel along there. And there you go. Lovely jubbly. It's pretty much done. And so, yeah, good one. Oh, right, right, right. Delicious. Cheers.